Hey, Vinny Fish. It's the 23rd of October, 2019. I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to come on and uh, basically let you know that I have not, you know, gone away. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Sickness, among other things. You know, the usual things that life brings us. And uh, there's no shortage of things going on in the world. But the fact that the world is falling apart seems to escape people. It just doesn't seem to register that we're literally in the end times. You know, and how long can this draw out is God will allow what he will allow until he doesn't allow it anymore. You know, the world is just like on fire. So, you know, I thought I'd just go through some of the things that I've just come across in the last couple of weeks. Uh, today is the 36th anniversary of the Beirut Marine Barracks bombing. Remember that? 241 service members killed in Beirut. You know, the same place now that is just in total turmoil there in Lebanon, which happens to be basically the home of Mount Hermon. The White Mountain. And all this Middle East stuff going on is just at the expense of innocent people's lives. Uh, and it's all contrived by a cabal of satanic worshipping Nephilim blood still in operation in this world today. And they basically organize and carry out all the various things that we're seeing going on. You know, the, the transgender thing is all contrived. It is literally the Baphomet, the hermaphrodite unity, if you will. It all comes from the same place. You know what I mean? It really does. We have another witch binding spell going to be put on our president in a couple days. That's uh, That's become normal and trendy and cool, you know. All the witchcraft and magic. The protesters in Lebanon. I, this here really is amazing because someone sent me a video clip of this dance group that's from Lebanon. Okay, this is interesting. I'm not going to play the sound for obvious reasons. Uh, but all the elements in this are... It's probably one of the most satanic rituals that I've probably ever seen and we see a lot of them these days but this is pretty intense and this Lebanese uh, dance group mesmerized people on Britain's Got Talent right and this video has been seen at this point probably I don't know 30 or 40 million people it went viral uh, the symbolism is just, you know, textbook, obvious, all the upside down, right side up pyramids. You just can't make this stuff up. You have your Baphomet hermaphrodite leader of the pack here, you know. I mean, we could just spend an hour on this video alone. But what really kind of got my attention was the fact that it was released on September 26th, which was, and we'll get back to that, September 26 was the very same day that they held their sacrifice to renew Noah's covenant on the Mount of Olives. September 26, the non-Jewish sacrifice that they had a Gentile perform. This was a huge spiritual move, if you will, when these things are all put together in this ritualistic manner. They're conjuring, j just like the, the witches are all going to be doing uh, against Trump coming up here in a couple days. You see what I mean? And then, about, on top of all this stuff, right, we actually see, and this, this right here is one of the things that causes me to really get people to ask themselves, how on earth can the likes of Hillary Clinton with literal warehouses of evidence to incriminate her on a multitude of very serious felony crimes, right? But yet she's still in the limelight. She's still influencing everything and most likely will run for president again. And why, why and how is that? 
So we got all the witches, and now we got the witch Hillary entering the picture, you know? And what's really interesting, this dance group here, right? They're called Mayas, right? So if you just look up the word Mayas, in fact, it falls in the same category as Maya. The word Maya literally means the power as of a god to produce illusions the production of an illusion and this is all an illusion this is quite literally magic black magic enochian magic to be precise where old john d and edward kelly and you know alistair crowley all the technology and everything you see is nothing less than fallen angel knowledge being given to these satan worshipers i mean how else you want to put it you know what I'm saying? The world has been nasha, deceived, led astray, through magic. This is their primary weapon. And it's interesting, you know, people think America is going to get great again, right? This here had an article attached to it, right? Look at this. I'll show you this. This is one of the formations they do. You know, Venus, a trap, right? American Idol, right? This all comes from the same, you know, crew. Make America great again. MAGA. Turn that around, literally, and you have the word Agam, which is in the Hebrew Concordance, number 98, and it means collect as water or as growing in swamps. MAGA. I'm telling you guys, you got to get right with Jesus. That's the number one thing, because without the Spirit of the living God, bringing you his understanding and giving you that peace to navigate this stuff it's all over man you you're not going to be able to do anything seriously the 26 dancers in this ritual two two rows of 13 dancers they portray in this thing it's extraordinary you guys to to watch this i'm just going to fast forward it to this one section where it's mind blowing cuz they're literally showing the DNA, the, the bloodlines of the Illuminati, if you will, the Nephilim bloodlines, they're, they're illustrating the DNA chains coming together, 13 in each line, if you understand what I mean, and boom, they come together. And then what does it form? In the end is the trap, the literal trap. And it has everything to do with your DNA. The Vesica Pisces, the two eggs coming together, the enmity that God put there. Jesus broke the enmity and gives you access to the love of God. All you need to do is seek him humbly and sincerely and ask. Can you believe this? I came across this. See all the hands on the Hillary Clinton? Doesn't that kind of remind you of these guys? I mean, seriously, you guys, this is all ritualistic. Hillary is a high priestess. She is a downright devil-worshipping, child-murdering, trafficking criminal. For some odd reason, still gets to run for president. I mean, you do the math. Who's cleaning what swamp? You know what I'm saying? MAGA. Agam. Growing in swamps. And there's so much attached to this, you guys. It's amazing. The blood of Christ, that is the truth, the life, the way. And there is a devil. A devil that is slicker than any salesman you'll ever meet. And he wants nothing more than for you to die in your sin. You must be reborn. You understand? It's all in the scripture. You know, in the synagogue of Satan, man, it's all connected. You have the Lebanese dance group you have the lebanese riots and now you have the orthodox jews saying that these mass protests in lebanon are paving a path to a temple building alliance with israel you see how this all fits together and it's all the new world order that all these minions and quote leaders when we are successful and we will be we have a real chance at this new world order have just led us down this path of deception and it will not be long folks it will not be long until that trap is set and triggered 
and I pray that you are under the blood of Christ. Those same Pharisees who killed Jesus Christ remain the undisputed rulers of Judaism. In Babylon, the Pharisees codified their oral traditions into the Babylonian Talmud. Before that happens. It's a trap. I pray you're all well. I truly do. And I will get back on here more because, you know, there are just more that need to understand the war that they're in. All glory to God. Peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 